Hey there, welcome back to another exciting video. We're going to be diving into one of the hottest trends in web design, bento grids. This exciting new approach is taking the design world by storm, and for good reason. Let's explore what makes bento grids so special and how you can incorporate them into your own projects. But first, let's talk about the history of it. Bento boxes first appeared during the Kamakura period in Japan, between 1185 and 1333. They were thought to have been invented by farmers and merchants who needed a way to transport their food with them while they worked. The term bento itself comes from the Chinese word biandang, meaning convenient. Now imagine opening a traditional Japanese bento box. You see an array of delicious, colorful foods neatly arranged in individual compartments. This is the inspiration behind bento grids. In web design, it translates to a layout based on a grid system, where content is organized into distinct sections or compartments. These compartments can be of varying sizes and shapes, but they all adhere to the underlying grid structure. You can check out the website bentogrids.com for a curated collection of inspiring designs. You'll find a diverse range of projects, from portfolio websites to landing pages, all utilizing the power of bento grids. Wait, in this video, we are also going to see how to create a bento grid design using Figma. So let's get started. Use Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V to paste the color style.
If you're enjoying my tutorials, show some love by liking, subscribing, and sharing your thoughts in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and share your thoughts about it. I love hearing from you, and your feedback helps me to create more valuable content for you. That's it for now, guys. We go back and forth every time, waiting for one of us to cross the line. You got me.